I knew that the anime could deliver on a good episode, like, it always had it in it, but it's just it had a really rough exterior of rushing through events and then putting events on you like it was no one's business. And this episode, it was the one I was waiting for, and I liked how they might just handle the arc, like, towards the end with, uh, Ngeseki. This episode basically centered on, um, Takeru, if I can remember this guy's name. I'm 11 episodes in, I can't remember people's names anymore. <laughs> yeah, Takeru's sister. So we know, we've known of her this whole series. Like, it's always been alluded to who she is, but it's never been shown who she is exactly until this episode came out. And then basically now we know who she is and what she does and how she acts. And it's probably one of the most depressing parts of the actual anime. Like, she's kind of locked up in a kind of like, I don't know, like a prison, but she can't, like, she can't get out and she's always basically asleep and she's always goes with drugs and stuff like that because basically she's got like this kind of demon inside her who kind of like if she gets out will destroy the earth and so I guess yeah it was it's an it's a nice it's not a nice idea I say nice it's not a nice idea because when you look at her now how she acts towards other people it's actually kind of heartbreaking in a way because that kind of sibling thing that you get that you don't want to see you don't want to see your siblings like exactly the same way so you kind of feel a lot worse for that Character. I liked how they how they handled it, and it wasn't out of the blue kind of plot point as well. The, the plot point itself was kind of not out of the blue, which is it just felt like it was needed. Like, I, I know up to now the arcs have been a bit meh, they've been kind of a bit rushed, but this one looks like it's gonna take a bit slowly. It's gonna end on a really bad note. I can see it happening because it's split into two cores, so two, second core might be out in the summer. I'm not too sure, but yeah, basically the second core will be out in the summer, I would imagine, and then it will continue off. So we're probably gonna leave on a cliffhanger in this arc. And then the next series might just pick up from those events left off. That's how I can see it happening. But yeah, I mean, when when Otri, well, when Otri, everyone interacted with her and basically gave her all the outfits, it was a really nice kind of thing. It kind of made, it was a bit heartwarming. <coughs> and then, excuse me, it's choked, choked my own air. But yeah, when it and then when it happened, when she said, "Please can you come," I was like, "Man, that nice way to dampen the note there." I was like this is this is nice, and then I dampened it completely. But yeah, I mean, as a whole. Good episode. I'm thinking you might have seen Takeru's father as well. I'm not too sure. Like, he kind of looked like Takeru's father, but it wasn't really alluded to. I'm thinking he might have said Kusaki, Kurosagi, I think his second name is. Might say Kurosaki, you're alive in there. So I could imagine maybe it might have been his father. I'm not too sure again. But yeah, so we got to see basically a lot in this episode. And it wasn't rushed. It was nice. It's kind of nice and slow, but the pacing was pretty damn good. Like, in the sense that it wasn't boring. A lot of talking. I liked how character's handle situation like they said don't tell me the truth you need to tell the truth as long as you as long as you keep your promise it's all right i was like oh that's nice and then you had the whole thing with everyone else but i kind of had it i kind of had more interest in the story in the sister than i did in anything else in the whole episode like everything else felt like it's meandering towards the next event with the sister and that's what it kind of just felt like it wasn't boring but i just kind of just imagined i'd want to board the sister that's basically it and yeah, I mean, I guess she kind of did feel je jealous that she couldn't have like a relationship with her with her brother because she's al he's always not there with someone else. So it was like lay or jealousy with her character as well. But then she kind of like grows accustomed to those characters later on in the episode. So it's kind of nice how they kind of handled her arc of the story. And going forward, hopefully, they don't actually rush this arc because it does look like it's gonna be really, really damn good. And the cliffhanger was pretty damn depressing as well, so I've got to wait until next week to actually witness what actually happens. Granted, I don't think he's going to kill her, because that would just be really, really out of order. But yeah, I mean, I always I always knew this episode, this anime could do something. Like, up to this point, it's kind of had its, it's had like ups and basically a really deep, deep, deep down kind of thing, and then basically just meandered the rest of the series. And then kind of, it's picking up slightly. Like, I can see it, I can see it picking up in the second core. It just, I don't know how, if they could just slow down the events, it might just l like the anime a lot more, because this episode was actually really good how it paced. I think they just start to listen to what's going on. But yeah, with all that said, I have been the driver. If, if you guys enjoy what I do here, please leave a like. If you, look, if you enjoy my actual content, please leave a sub, it does help me quite a lot. With all that said, I have been the driver, and I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.